six millimeter Allen wrench, five millimeter Allen wrench, four millimeter Allen wrench, an eight mil wrench, 10 mil wrench, a 15 mil pedal wrench, and a pair of scissors. start by snipping the axle off of the spoke of the wheel. Right. We're going to start by unscrewing this part of the axle. Unscrew this. You're going to take off one spring. You're going to remove these two plastic things out of the wheel. And then you're going to feed the axle through the wheel and you're gonna feed it in on the opposite side of the disc. And then from there, you're gonna put the smaller end of the spring through the axle and then lightly screw on the cap as such. Okay, I'm gonna pull the bike over the front wheel and make sure that the disc is going in between the two pads on the caliper. From there, I'm gonna hold this end of the axle and screw righty-tighty the other end and then clamp it down tight. So this part is for sizing. You need a six millimeter Allen wrench in order to change, to move this guy up or down. For the bigger riders, you want it to be a little bit farther out. For the shorter riders, you want it to be a little bit higher. So I'm gonna set this one high, and you wanna make sure this is nice and tight. All right, I'm gonna start by making sure my handlebars are facing the right way. The throttle's gonna be on your right hand. Make sure your cords aren't super twisted up. And then I'm gonna take the cap, four screws and put it back over the top of the handlebars like such and then I'm just gonna start all four of them without making them too tight at first and then before you tighten the handlebars up all the way you want to make sure that they're in the correct position for your riding comfort so I'm going to set mine right about there, and then I'm going to screw them all in nice and tight, but I'm going to rotate. I'm going to go one here, one here, and one up top. And then, you know, just make sure they're nice and straight and in the position you want them to be in, and then you can really tighten them down. It's important that you make sure when you're adjusting the handlebars that these nuts are super tight. You don't need to over tighten them to, to the point where you're stripping them, but just make sure they're tight enough that when you're riding and you hit a bump that they're not moving while you're riding. So I'm going to open up this box that comes inside bike box and I'm going to pull out the pedals and the pedals have a left and a right. So there is a left and a right pedal and they'll be labeled the right on this right pedal and an L for the left pedal. So I'm gonna start with the right and all pedals are reverse threaded. Okay, I'm gonna start by holding this part on the top of the pedal that connects to the crank and I'm gonna hold it still in my fingers and I'm gonna insert it to where I think it's gonna go in there straight and I'm gonna pedal the bike backwards while still holding this part. 
So you're essentially screwing it in just by moving the pedals. And you just gotta hold it there and kinda go slow until you feel it catch. And then you're just gonna keep going and you'll feel it catch and you're holding this part so that it's threading itself. And then you're gonna make sure it's all the way screwed in tight. There, I'm gonna get a pedal wrench or any type of wrench. It's a 15 millimeter, and I'm gonna tighten the pedal by putting it on that black part that you're initially holding and just tightening it so that when you pedal, you don't strip out the pedal and it's on there tight. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing for the left pedal. I'm gonna hold this part at the end of the pedal that screws into the crank. I'm gonna place it kind of just in there and pedal the bike backwards so that you're not screwing it in your sub, you're just letting the bike do the work. You're just trying to line up the threads. And once you feel it catch, you can go a little bit faster. And you're screwing it in, you'll feel it screwing in, getting closer to the crank. And you'll get to that point where it's all the way in, boom. And then again, I'm gonna get my pedal wrench and really make sure that this pedal's on there pretty tight so that it doesn't strip out while riding it. So I'm going to remove the plastic from the fender and I'm also going to remove this little black tab that's sitting on top. And then from there, I'm just going to kind of rest the fender on the wheel for a second, like so, until I remove the nut off this screw right on here. And then from there, I'm going to keep holding the fender so it doesn't fall off and then I'm going to put the light on first. So this nut will go through the forks. I'm gonna put the light on, and then I'm gonna take this tab on the fender and feed it right in through that same screw right behind the light. And then from there, I'm gonna take the nut and kinda of just put it on there so it doesn't fall off. And then you're gonna be left with this, and everything's gonna be loose right now. And then you're gonna take a nut, a washer, and a screw out of this bag provided. And you're gonna go washer on top of screw. And then I'm gonna take a nut and a screw and I'm gonna put the rest of the fender on which connects to these little tabs that are at the very bottom of your forks. And I'm just gonna push it in there and I'm just kind of getting everything on there and I'm gonna tighten everything else up afterwards. So I did this left side, and I'm gonna do the same thing for the right side. I'm gonna get a nut, a screw, and a washer. I'm gonna come around on this side of the bike and I'm gonna put the screw to this part of the fender and then through this little tab that's connected to your forks. And then I'm gonna put a nut on the back end and then once you have everything set up like this, you're pretty much good to just tighten everything up. So I have the washer on top of the screw, and I'm gonna take the fender, and I'm gonna put it through here, and then I'm gonna put the screw with the fender on it through the tab on the bottom of the fork, and then I'm just gonna just get the nut on the back end so it's just holding it on there, it's not tight yet. start by putting this light on first and then the fender on second. It's going to look just like that and then I'm going to take this nut and I'm just going to put it on there just so it's on there. It's holding the fender on. It's not going to be tight yet. And then from this position I'm going to take this loose cord which is a directional plug and it's got a little arrow on the top and I'm going to plug it in right into the light. And just make sure it's in there real good. Boom, and that way your light function will work. All right, for this, I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter wrench and a five millimeter Allen wrench, and I'm gonna hold this nut on the back end and then just tighten up the fender and the light. These don't need to be super tight, just kind of snug, make sure everything's straight. Tighten it up, boom. And then from there, 
I'm gonna tighten up the fenders now. So same thing, just different tools, different size tools. Use an eight millimeter wrench and a four millimeter Allen wrench. I'm gonna hold the nut on the back end. And then again, these just need to be snug. They don't need to be super tight. And same thing on the other side. nut on the back end with the wrench, the nut on the back end with the wrench, and I'm going to tighten this nut just snug, it doesn't need to be super tight. Um, Alright, so now your bike's assembled and you're ready to turn it on. You're going to start by turning on the battery. The battery needs to be on in order for the bike to turn on, so you're going to hit this switch up. And now your battery's on, and now you can turn on your bike. Once your battery is on, then you can turn on the bike. And you're going to turn on the bike by holding the power button in the center just for two or three seconds, and then you'll see the display light up. So a couple things to make sure of before you start riding is that your front wheel, first of all, is on tight. A general rule of thumb is if you can open it with one finger, it's not tight enough. So we use a two finger rule. You should be able to open it up with two fingers. So you just make sure that's on super tight. You're going to want to make sure your seat is on tight so it's not moving around when you're riding. And then the last thing you really want to make sure of is that your battery is locked in the place. And your battery will become, come locked in the place out of the box, but just make sure. And if it's not, you have keys hanging from the bike that you can make sure you lock it in a place before riding. Generally, the tires will come already inflated out of the box, but just make sure that they're, they have air in them, they're pretty hard. They should be inflated to 30 PSI. Throttle is on your right hand. This red switch right here, this red button, just turns the throttle on and off. So by clicking it on in, I just turn the throttle off. By clicking it back in, I just turn the throttle on.